Greetings in the name of the Lord our God. What a joy, what a privilege we're here at the Wasonyiro River. A beautiful place, beautiful place. I would advise you to come to this place. The portal, the heavens are open here. It's called the, the lion's den. The lion's... Uh, it, is, it, is, it is in Samburu. County. It is strategic. It's beautiful. The air is fresh. It's excellent. Nevertheless, I'm not really in advertisement mode, but it's just to tell you the kind of encounter you'll have over here. The sumptuous organic meals, the fresh air, the sound of many waters, the sight of the rocks, uh, the, the, the tent. It's beautiful, it's excellent. But nevertheless, I've got some beautiful news to share with us. So come along as uh, I'm about to crescendo and share with us uh, this great moment of the creation of God. In the beginning, in the book of Genesis, the Bible tells us that uh, the earth was void of life. The Spirit of God moved in the depths of the waters. There was no form of life at all. It was bleak, dark, empty, and completely lifeless. And then God spoke out of the gross abundance of his glory. And when God began to speak forth, the creation of God began to manifest in very tremendous ways. God spoke light out of darkness and light was separated from darkness. Come along with me, please. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And there was light and the earth was formed and everything that we are seeing visible today was created by the power of his word. Such as this beauty that we see over here, the majesty and the splendor. Glory be to God. Please run the camera over there and show the world the majesty of God's creation. Praise God. <laughs> oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, there is no telling of the beauty of uh, God's uh, creation over here. Praise God. This is excellent. Thank you. Just make sure you come slowly so that you don't... Uh, uh, break your leg. Fantastic. 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 The beautiful creation of God, the mighty Ewasonyiro. Praise God. So I just want to remind us once again uh, that uh, the creation of God tells us of the wisdom and the love of God. God created all of the visible world that we see today out of his love. If he made the rocks the way they are, uh, the mighty waters flowing in the rocks, the sights that literally make your hearts to leap up for joy. If God made all this, and it's all wonderful and beautiful as he speck himself, and as we behold and appreciate ourselves too in his likeness and image, how much more does God delight in you and I, created in his likeness and image? Praise God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. If his creation is so delightsome and, and excellent and beautiful, how much more does he delight in thee? <laughs> oh my God. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Come closer and show. 
look at the majesty, the majesty of the mighty creation of God. <laughs> Glory be to God, glory be to God, glory be to God, glory be to God. You know, every time I step out, every time I step out in the dark night and I see this, the, the, the moon bloom, the stars shimmer, every time I step out a day like this and, and the sun is shining as it is and it's day, Every time I hear the sound of waters like this, I step on the ground, I step on the soul, uh, on, the, on the rocks like this. I'm always reminded of the majesty, the supremacy, the divinity, the deity, the excellence and the power of God. And so that the deliberate consciousness of the awareness of the existence of God, he is a self-existent God, and he is uh, the supreme, the sovereign God. I'm always cautiously reminded of the same, and then my soul can only rejoice in him. My brothers and sisters, let us always be reminded, even by his creation, of his goodness and loving, tender kindness over our lives. Now, a day like this, as the sun blazes, blazes and the sun shines, Jesus reminds us and tells us, walk while it's still day for the night cometh. Because light gives us visibility. We're able to see things visibly uh, clear. And so I believe that the clarity of God, even as the darkness engulfs and covers the nations of the earth, the light of the glory of God, I believe, is illuminating our eyes, our soul, our every fiber of our being and every aspect of our being to remind us that He is in control, He is in charge, and everything is all right. Praise God. One more look of the majesty of God's creation, and then I'm going to bid thee farewell. Please give them another glimpse of around. Oh, glory be to God. I hope you enjoyed the trip. I hope you enjoyed the scenery, the creation of God. Praise God. Amen. At one time, all of this was filled with water until this level over here. At one time, all of this was filled with water until this level over here. Always be filled with the Spirit of God, never to be found wanting in any way or form. God bless you, the Kingdom Aristocracy Chronicles, always a joy to bring to us the Chronicles of the Kingdom of God, the Divine Encounters, reminded of His creations, excellence. And how opulent and excellent and outstanding our God is. God bless you. Love you. See you again. Thank you. Thank you.